For as much as I like ragging on Amazon for every single thing that they do, there are some things that Amazon does get right by sellers. One of the primary things that, for better or worse, Amazon is really, really good at is anything having to do with fulfillment. Whether it's Amazon Freight, which is their freight program where they forward and have freight forwarding for much cheaper rates than a lot of their competitors out there just because of the scale at which they're doing it. Uh, AWD is another great example of them releasing that where it's a 3PL, which not necessarily the cheapest option out there that you could possibly go with, but it's still a very good one if you are an Amazon primary seller, right? And then on top of that, things like FBA. FBA is just an overall great program. That being said, it is getting very, very, very pricey. So many people, especially with things like the new inbound shipping fees, everything in between there, are looking at different ways to cut costs and save money. One of the primary ways that I see a lot of people looking at it is FBM. Now, what uh, is the easiest way to go about FBM? Well, there's a million of them, right? You can be doing it yourself in your own warehouse. You can be doing it via 3PL. You can be working with a 3PL and BFBA and do it yourself all at the same time. There's a lot of different ways to go about FBM. But today, I wanted to talk about specifically one key area where I think Amazon has gotten it right as far as FBM uh, and non-FBA sellers in the fulfillment world. And that area would specifically be Vico. Now, for those that do not know, Vico is a software, a shipping software that is meant for non-FBA sellers. So that means specifically anyone who is shipping uh, for any platform uh, or nearly any platform that they want to in a FBM or fulfilled by merchant fulfill self-fulfillment way. Uh, Vico is entirely free, uh, funny enough. So the actual platform itself, the software, does not cost a thing. This is a company that was founded a few years ago. Amazon ended up purchasing the company to make it an Amazon-branded and Amazon-owned company, but is still keeping its uh, Vico naming, branding, everything, because it is... Uh, just its own little entity away from the actual rigmarole that is Amazon while simultaneously having a lot of really nice features that integrate well with Amazon. So first and foremost, just a little bit of an overview. Who can use Vico? Uh, a couple of different people. If you're an Amazon seller, you can set up a store there. eBay, Shopify, Etsy, PrestaShop, Vend, Magento, WooCommerce, Walmart, BigCommerce. And then as well, if you have your own shop or just any type of shop if you know the api connections you can get a developer code to actually connect into vico as well so that's also things like tiktok shop which uh, i know many people are starting to use vico for tiktok shop for their own fulfillment so this is uh one of the cooler things again vico is an entirely free free software what you are paying for specifically is the shipping rates so Vico is very much based off of just the shipping rates when you are actually on the platform. So digging in a little bit here when we are looking at Vico, we have a couple of different things on the first screen. It's obviously just setting up the account. What do you need to do for that, right? Uh, giving an overview. Uh, there are some key areas that I really like about Vico that make it a unique software that kind of beats out some of the competitors, something like a ship station etc. And that would be things such as their dashboarding and how uh, easy it is to use across the board. Again, it's not going to be uh, as integrated as ShipStation. Many people know ShipStation integrates with many different types of uh, inventory management, CRMs, and things like that. Whereas Vico tries to be all of that at once, which is one of the things I like. So you can see some of the things here. Uh, the big thing that Vico has going about it is it lets you connect in with your actual suppliers and your wholesalers. It's not something that every single software out there does, but Vico really tracks a lot of that. So you can see we have open purchase orders here where we can see our exact purchase orders that are going on. Uh, if we come over here as well uh, to our actual purchasing, we can do our purchase orders again, where we actually see all of the purchase orders that are happening. So we can have Vico be utilized from an aspect of full inventory management and control. So again, this is not just a shipping software that Amazon owns. Vico is a uh, essentially a full roundabout 
software for understanding your entire inventory across a multi-channel environment. So this is a very, very useful tool for those that are essentially getting started in the e-commerce world or even those that have a very established presence with hundreds of different SKUs. So you can see here that we have our purchase orders. Again, under purchasing, you can go through, you can have your different suppliers. So if you wanted to go in, add a different supplier, you can do that by name, the currency. So that means that, for instance, if you have a Chinese supplier or manufacturer, that you can even add those as well if you end up paying them uh, in that capacity. All of your supplier information, uh, the different contact info, et cetera. If you have a credit limit of some kind, then you would add all of that in. Uh, now, past that as well, what you uh, what's really cool about this is the ability to actually go through and understand uh, exactly what each supplier has from a purchase order level, right? So we can go in here for our default supplier. We can see all of the products that that supplier has. So we can link specific products to every single one of our suppliers. It's one of the things that I think is really cool that I'm surprised we've never been able to have some kind of functionality in Amazon for. Not that we would want it because they would probably steal that information, but it's still very interesting to see exactly this. Uh, on top of that, we can do interesting things such as our unit cost and our tax percentage if there is that. What is the actual lead time for each one of the products? Uh, furthermore, we can look at all of our active purchase orders by supplier. So again, the the big aspect of Vico is that it is not just a shipping platform. It is essentially a free inventory management platform. This goes for any one of the marketplaces that you are on. So if you are currently both a Shopify seller, an Amazon seller, a Walmart seller, you can go through and you can understand exactly where you stand from an inventory standpoint for all of your different marketplaces at one time. Next past this as well, uh, they have demand forecasting, which I think is very, very interesting. Uh, it's going to, again, with the supplier side, help you a lot. Demand forecasting, uh, as spoken about a million times before, is uh, an extremely useful tool, right? We need to understand from a very granular level how much inventory we need. Whether you're selling on Amazon and you're trying to demand forecast from what they say uh, you should have from an inventory level or you sell on Shopify, right? Or Walmart. This is really cool because this is going to essentially allow you to get a full understanding of your 30 day sales. Based on that, uh, you can create your own forecast based on previous reorders as well. So again, based on reorder levels, uh, we could go from that. And it's not going to be just for a single marketplace. You could, if you wanted to, go off of a single marketplace and order from a marketplace perspective. But again, if you are a self-fulfilled merchant of some kind and you are trying to understand, or even if you don't do your own fulfillment, Vico is still a very, very interesting software just from the aspect of understanding your inventory levels, uh, understanding where you are putting costs, right? It is a free software in that regard that you could just use from a strictly inventory control and management standpoint. So uh, past this as well, digging into the actual inventory. So the inventory in Vico is very interesting in the sense that uh, you can do a lot with it. So uh, we have little pop-ups that happen here, but uh, more importantly, if we were to go into this Apple Magic Mouse, uh, if you are someone who is shipping from multiple locations, that's a feature here. Uh, they allow you to have inventory control from a multi-standpoint location or multi-location standpoint. Uh, on top of that, you can also control the inventory per each one of the different stores that you're connected to, as well as see all order history for every single product. This is one of the things where, again, from an inventory management software standpoint, this being a free software that any seller could just utilize at any point in time is very, very interesting. It's, it's something that has essentially everything you would need uh, to understand your product by product basis of how you're actually doing, right? Uh, again, we're seeing a lot of different information. We have all of our shipping information for dimensions. This is how we're actually going to be shipping for the product. You can even get all of your suppliers. So you can see for this one, it's default supplier, default location, set minimum stock, maximum stock, and reorder quantities as well. So the replenishment is really interesting with the reorder quantity because you can set auto fulfillment reorders there. Now, 
uh, as well on top of this. We don't have uh, specific examples, but what we could do here as well is we could set things like this where we have a uh, short t-shirt in large, we could have a medium and a small, and we could turn all of these into a parentage if we want to. So it's very simple. You could go up here, you could create and update it to be uh, a full parentage variation set where instead they don't call it parentage or variation, they call it kits and bundles. Uh, so we would set all of those to be a kit and bundle with one parent. Uh, on top of that, uh, for all of this, you have some interesting things. You can actually do a lot of listing control here. Now, we don't have this currently connected in anywhere, but if this was to be connected, for instance, to Amazon or connected to Shopify, we would actually be able to change a lot of the data for our listings from the back end here. So that's one of the biggest features that not many other inventory shipping softwares, anything like that is going to allow the control of, of actually changing data in real time on your platform of choice. So if you have something on Shopify where you don't want to have to go into your Shopify store and you want to make a change broad sweeping across a variety of products, you can do that via this backend filter here as well. Now, as well, if you have multi-warehouse, again, Vico is a great option just from the aspect of you can transfer from certain locations. Or if you are, let's say, both an FBM and an FBA seller, you could actually initiate transfers from here to FBA. Now, you're not going to be able to actually send direct to FBA through the software itself, but you will be able to initiate that transfer internal in your system so you understand where that inventory control is going. Next, uh, we have Priceless. Uh, Priceless, uh, I'm not a huge fan of, to be honest. It's not something that's super useful, super needed uh, at the end of the day for many things, but it is you know, an active feature for those that actually utilize them. Um, and then digging into our orders a little bit. So Vico has one key feature that makes it stand out from pretty much all of the other shipping softwares, and that is it's not your own integrated shipping accounts. Uh, you can, if you want to, integrate your own shipping accounts, and what that will allow you to do is actually choose from a different shipping account here based on pricing. So Vico has its own pricing that you are able to utilize. Uh, when you are actually going through and choosing one of these different shipment options, what this is gonna do for you is it's going to go ahead and say, okay, this one is currently USPS Ground Advantage for 443. We actually do earn 23 cents back in Vico credits. That means uh, 23 cents that can be utilized towards future shipping. It's kind of like a credit card cash back situation uh, with their shipping. Or if, for instance, we had a cheaper option in one of our own shipments, it would show up near the bottom, right? So uh, they also have unavailable shipping options, but you can choose uh, the different types. So uh, this is one of the better features when it comes to a shipping software. I uh, really, really do like this about Vico that it is just such cheap shipping rates compared to uh, if you are your own seller. And it's because Vico does essentially crowdsourcing of everyone who uses Vico's to work out specific rates for all of their people. So again, I think it's really cool. The, the uh, credit back or cash back situation, really interesting as well. Uh, these rates are usually going to be much cheaper than uh, if you get them yourself. Uh, there are situations where, for instance, this is $579 uh, from UPS Ground, which uh, with the cashback, it's kind of $550, right? So uh, there are situations where you may be able to get that a little bit cheaper depending on the item. Uh, but by and large, I find that Vico is from a setup and you don't even have to worry about having your own shipping accounts. You don't have to worry about having a rep that you work with. You don't have to worry about getting boxes or anything like that from that rep. You can just order them. It's a pretty good service for that uh, availability of it. On top of that, there's a bunch of different things. It will auto choose which one it thinks is best for you. You can automatically buy the label. If you don't want to buy the label, you can uh, go ahead and just mark it as ship, do whatever you want to do there. Uh, on top of that, you can do immediate print as well. Uh, we have a bunch of tags. You can see demo, urgent, so things like that. You can add any type of tag that you want into the system as well. Um, and then on top of that, we have wholesale, uh, which 
not a lot of platforms, again, rely on. So similar to having the suppliers in there and being able to pull all suppliers in there, we have wholesale where we can specifically set up wholesale invoices for if there are off Vico or if you have a specific wholesaler that you're working with. This is a great way to be able to go about and do that. So you could have a wholesale invoice for a couple of pallets and then you could come over to your orders. You could create an order for those pallets and then use uh, Vico's own system for shipping those pallets to get the best possible freight rate as well. So very, very interesting overall. Uh, again, this is probably one of the uh, cooler things that Amazon owns. Uh, I, again, am not going to typically say I am a huge fan of most of the things that Amazon has, but uh, considering this one that they purchase and they haven't really done a ton with, other than make it uh, a little bit more friendly when it comes to Amazon shipping rates and Amazon connections. Uh, but if you are a strictly FBM seller and you have you know multiple warehouses, multiple suppliers, anything like that, uh, or just are shipping to multiple different marketplaces at any given time, and you know your shipping rates are pretty large, I would give this software a try. Uh, Vico, from my uh, testing, from everything I have seen, is usually one cheaper two has just a better overall inventory management system for a lot of people once they get up and running uh and lastly i think that to see such a software like this for sellers makes it a really easier or easy barrier for entry for the average seller right when you're thinking about it from a free perspective and someone who doesn't have to go through and get a ups account or anything like that uh, and worry about it. You know, if you're someone just starting out selling and you're working out of your garage, Vico is definitely going to be uh, where you should be looking as far as doing any form of fulfillment. So overall, uh, Vico, great software in my mind. I think it's really cool. I would love to see more integrations come out with it, like I said, with TikTok shop, things like that. Uh, but overall, from just the perspective of where it's at right now, great for new sellers. If you're a super advanced seller with a couple thousand different items and a million different things going on, probably not the best for you. Probably best to stick with some other solutions. But uh, overall, small sellers, you know, new sellers, anyone who has maybe multi-location, great. Go give it a shot.